This is Jackie Helvey and I'm here in Chapel Hill at Brandwine Bagels, which is over here on Rosemary Street with Alex, the guy who started it. You know, we were just talking about how when you opened up over here, when Curtis and I were just walking by and you guys were getting ready to open, and yeah. that's been a year and a half ago now. Yeah. That just, it doesn't seem possible we've been in this whole sort of vacuum of time. But now, you guys, you were on the corner down here yep. at uh, Rosemary and what street is and that? And Graham Street. And Graham Street. Yeah. And now you've moved into a bigger space. Uh, this used to be, uh, was it bread and butter? It was bread and butter bakery. Yeah. yeah. It's been a lot of stuff. It was a yeah. Chinese restaurant for years. It was, yeah. But you've got a much bigger space here, huh? It's incredible. It's truly incredible. You can take your mask off. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so did you have any idea when you started this thing how quickly it would grow and and not at are all. you still sort of reeling from it or i truly have to just pinch myself it's, yeah it's um it all feels like a dream like the support from this town and everyone has been just so incredible it's like the thing to, that we have the start that we've had and the support of everyone to do what we were doing at 505 and now to grow into this space is it still feels like a dream come true. Now, did you did you come here as a student? Yeah, I came here in 2018 to get my MBA at UNC. Your MBA, what were you studying? Um, I was studying everything. My, my, my previous history before this, I was doing real estate um, finance in New York City. And so I sort of came in with a real estate lead and experience there and met some of the professors at, at Keenan Flagler. Mm -hmm. But when I came in, I sort of wanted to explore everything. And to Keenan Flagler's credit, they were really incredible about supporting that. And it was really entrepreneurship where I started to get that bug. And then, uh, and then a bagel shop kind of happened. So are you still studying or did you sort of leave that behind or did you finish or what's going on with that? Yeah, so while we signed our lease in February 2020 and I was all the while I'm just hustling to graduate and I graduated in May 2020 and then we opened up just a few months later in wow, August. Wow, yeah. that's crazy. So it was, a, yeah, oh, it was always the focus to make sure I got my degree um, in addition to, to starting this. Right. So tell folks a little bit about what you offer here. Yeah, sure. So I'm from New York, born and raised, um, grew up eating bagels every single day. So the product, first and foremost, is as authentic as it possibly can be. Um, we're using um, flour from Lindley Mills out in Graham, North Carolina. We ship true barley malt syrup, which is that special uh, sauce that gives it that sort of nutty, awesome flavor to the bagel. Um, and so everything we do is made from scratch every single day, boiled and baked, um, really the traditional classic New York way. In addition to that, we make all of our spreads, all of our salads, um, our sandwiches. We sort of have a wide offering, but we're breakfast and lunch. And for me, it's all about making stuff that just tastes good. You want to eat again and again. Um, we get our coffee um, down the road from Gray Squirrel. Um, and it's really hopefully a shop that, that feels good and tastes good all at the same time. So um, you have some sort of unusual spreads. Tell folks what a little bit about what they are, what you offer. Sure, so some of the fun ones, like we've got the classics like chive and veggie cream cheese, but then we've got things like a jalapeno cream cheese. That's the one I like. That's so good. We spend so much time just trying to test it out and make sure it had enough heat, but not too much. We have a fun Fetty cream cheese, which is basically a frosting cream cheese with sprinkles in it. And that's, oh, that's just funny. That's just awesome. Um, we've got a green goddess spread, which really just takes like the essence of a green goddess dressing with a cream cheese base. We make our own pimento cheese in-house. Um, then we've got other sweeter cream cheeses like maple and strawberry cream cheese. So all hopefully just a little bit of something for everybody. And you said salads. What kind of salads do you have? Yeah, sure. So we make um, our tuna salad, uh, chicken salad. Um, we have egg salad and whitefish salad too. And all that can go on a bagel. Absolutely. And then um, so you have salmon and what else do you have oh, in also terms of... You, you have the salads and then 
Yeah, so we have all sorts of other, like any sort of classic sandwiches that you're looking for. I'd say more than anything, we sell more egg and cheese, bacon, egg and cheese sandwiches oh, really? than anything else. Huh. And then our locks, our classic locks, where we use acne smoked salmon is definitely like right up there. Right. And then we've got classics like Rubens and BLTs, and we have a pimento club, this awesome roast beef deluxe sandwich, which is really good. And we just put on the menu um, a caprese sandwich with um, where we make our own maple balsamic vinaigrette that we put on top with with mozzarella and roasted tomatoes and a little bit of basil. Like that is now my my new favorite. Right. So, um, what are your hours here? We are so as a bagel shop and like being from New York, I always felt like bagel shops have to be open seven days a week, and I like to keep it simple. You just something about that like trust and knowing. We're 6.30 to 3.30 every day. You can count on it. We don't change our hours. Um, that's what we do. Fantastic. Well, congratulations on all your success. I just can't believe you guys have grown so quickly. Thank but you. But I'm not surprised because your yeah. bagels are great. And there was there was a need for that. You know, you're down here by the Carborough line yeah. where you really couldn't get a good bagel so I really appreciate that yeah when we when I moved here to North Carolina like I had no plans of this but I couldn't believe there wasn't that downtown bagel shop and there's something about it that just feels comforting and puts a smile on your face so I'm like beyond grateful like for you and all your support and this town it's been it's been really really special and life always takes you where you never expected it to <laughs> truly, truly truly my mom's uh, born and raised in in new york grew up in queens went to queens college and like the idea that i now consider like chapel hill like my true home and like where i am most happy she always just laughs about it and then she comes down and visits and she's like okay I get, it. I get it. Like, it's it's so great here. That's great. Yeah. Well, thank you, Alex. Thank you so much, Jackie.